Hello. Crazy Rebecca dances with pipples here. Nope, still haven't found my signs and I've lost a couple of other things. So soon, maybe, I'll be able to look for them. I don't know where they went. They have to be here. I would not have thrown them away. Oh, I got to get some coffee. Hold on. Okay, so it's over there. Do you see this? Can you guess what it is from there? Come on, try. That, try to get the camera. that is a green macaroni. Do you know green macaroni? You should. I'll put a link to her channel down below. And you may be saying, okay, Rebecca, why did you make a green macaroni? Well, I don't know if you remember this because it was never announced, but so how could you remember if I never announced it? Right. But I did talk about that when I first started YouTube, I did, it was music videos. It was me playing my guitar and singing. And Miss Julie, J Julie from Green Macaroni commented on one of my music videos. So, I decided to send her a prize for being the first of my crafty YouTube friends to comment on one of my music videos. So what I did was I took this macaroni, I painted it. Okay, this says halo blue gold, but to me that looks green. Julie, if it's not green, I apologize. You may paint it green just very carefully on there. <laughs> and it looked like a J. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some glossy accents. And this has had the glittery, glitter-tastic Mod Podge brushed on it. And I'm just going to do this. And do that. I'm going to let it dry. I have, remember this box? I have a bunch of blanks, so if the need comes up, I can make things. Here's a naked macaroni that did not meet my expectations. I have white ones too in case somebody needs a certain color. So I dug around. I found that one. I wanted a high contrast color. So I can't leave good enough alone. And because she lives in Texas, I thought maybe she'd like a cowboy boot magnet. And because, just because, well, everybody needs a 13 Ruma Cube tile to wear. It's reversible. You can wear it either way, but it's got this cool tassel. And of course, <laughs> you got to have a ball chain to put them on. Now, Julie, you can cut this. You can do whatever you want with it, but it does make a handy, handy necklace.
So that's all I have because that's all I have. Well, let's write it down though. Oh my gosh, it's number 87. 87. Green macaroni. Necklace. For Julie. Yo. Okay, until next time. When I hopefully get some time. Oh, oh, where's my thing? Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, remember this book cover? Oh, let me move this precious thing here. If I don't put those with it, I'll forget just like that. Okay. This book. Okay. I made some signatures for it. So I was just wanting to show you my progress. Pocket. Stampage. I did a couple of these things to go with that thing. Okay, I can do I can do vintage for a little while before I go back to my colorful stuff. Okay, I need a tag for in here. Because it's dark horse, I put some horses. Stampage, stampage with lay. No, is that lace on there? Nope, it's on the other back side of it. My doily pocket. Same, same. Does this one have the, oh, that horse? No. Anyway, I like it. So maybe I won't burn out quite so quickly, belly band. on these. I do want to do, and I'm only going to put three signatures because look, see, so yeah, and I just got to get them bound. I like it a lot. So that's what I've been doing. I've been working on needlework and I can't film myself doing that. I might do a little chit chat where I'm crocheting or something, but yeah, but I, that's part of my challenge. I got to use some of that stuff up. So and I'm so close. I'm on 87, 87, 87. Okay. I love you. I'll see you next time.